I know what you're thinking, another minimalist video. Seriously, get on that bandwagon. But look at it. I can't not do this. I've got to get on board. Hello, I'm Lara. If you don't know me, welcome to my channel and welcome back if you do. I filmed a video all about minimalism and about how it can really help you and just kind of decluttering your life. And I thought it was about time that I put it all into practice myself and really got on top of my minimalist journey. I know this is jumping on the bandwagon, I'm fully aware of that, but I have had so many people tell me how much they find it's changed their lives. And I know that sounds dramatic, but honestly, my friend Jess has been doing it and she's really, really inspired me to carry on with my kind of sharing all of my minimalist stuff that I've been doing because she genuinely says that it changes completely her life. It's changed her, you know, just simplifying her life has just made everything a lot less stressful, a lot less busy. And it's so, so true if you cut out all of that stuff, all the noise, you know, I've spoken about social media, bringing a lot of noise to your world. And it just means that everything's a lot more kind of easy to get on with. You can, just anything, like picking out something from your wardrobe is so much easier if you've got less stuff. Getting ready in the morning, if you've got less stuff to get through and find something to wear and all this kind of stuff, it just means everything is a lot more simple and simplified and I really, really need that in my life. So I have spent the whole of January not buying a single thing unless it's for the boys. You may have seen some of my videos about budgeting and how to save money and things like that and it's just kind of all part of this journey and I hate saying that word because it's such a cliche but really really it is so anyway that was the longest intro ever I hope you enjoyed this video please do subscribe if you liked it and you want to see more but let's get on and show you what I'm going to be sorting out today so to start off is going to be the wardrobe and I am embarrassed it's just ridiculous so let's go have a look Okay, so this is absolutely shameful and I'm really embarrassed about it. But I'm going to show you as it is because honestly it's ridiculous. So up here is all my kind of jumpers and pyjamas and just hats and scarves. And I've got my kind of designer bags up there and their dust bags. And then I've got this heap of clothes and it is just, I mean, I mean, yeah, I do love a Breton, let's not lie. But yeah, look, it's just so much stuff. I've got about a thousand blazers. Um, and then going down here is more bags and kind of everyday more casual bags and holdalls and dresses and just stuff that I've dumped in here. So I filmed that intro a little while ago. It's now March. And I think I filmed that in January. Uh, so yeah, it's not going so well. But I'm here to do it right now because it's stressing me out. I've got too much shit. I need to get it cleared. I'm gonna just do the wardrobe first because then I can make room for all the other stuff that just gets left laying around the place. So I've been buying a few new things. I bought this shirt from ASOS, which I love. It's got weird, kind of a bit too much on the sleeve, a bit more like Austin Powers. And then I bought this nice blouse from Zara to go with these new leather pants. So I've been really, really considering purchases this year before buying and I've loved it because I used to just go in and buy loads of crap and I'm being much more considered, so I'm buying less stuff. So what I need to do now is clear out all the stuff so that I can make room for the new bits and anything else that I buy. And then all the stuff that I've just bought that's not really, doesn't add anything to my wardrobe, it's not like key pieces I can get rid of and then I have so much more room. So looking forward to it, I just gotta get this done. I'm gonna start up here because I mean there's so much crap up here and every year I tidy it out and then I don't touch it for the rest of the year so I'm just gonna pile it all out onto the bed and then clear through what I'm gonna dump which if I'm strong it's gonna be most of it. Right guys <laughs> this is just the stuff from the top of my wardrobe. I don't I don't even know how that even fit in it's ridiculous <laughs> Please note there is a, an animal in here, a cat. <laughs> That's not part of the cat. <laughs> Maggie, you might want to move, my darling. Right, so this is what happens if you're not minimalist in what you're buying, okay? You start buying the same thing twice. Look, this scarf? Pretty much the same scarf. Or you get stuff like this. A pair of jean shorts, really nice. 
exactly never been used and I would have bought the exact same ones this year although I might be lucky to fit in that this year um, so yeah there's loads of stuff here I'm going to get through oh, I used to love this t-shirt Damn. right so let's get rid of this stuff <laughs> Okay, so I've managed to sort out the top, which was everything that was up there. I've put a few little bits back there. But let me show you what I'm throwing out from that pile because I tidied, well, I sorted through this a year ago and probably the year before that. And every time I do it, I put it away nicely and then I just never look at it again for the rest of the year. So it's going to go this time. So I've got one pile, two pile, three pile all those like accessories all of that is going to charity i'm going to keep this pile of tops which is kind of like some of it sentimental and some are just pajama tops or bottoms and then this little pile of um, scarves and so yeah i'm keeping those two out of <laughs> all of that it's crazy okay so i have cleared out the top as you can see and i'm left with just two little piles of very manageable stuff and my designer handbags get the room that they deserve because you know they're not cheap and they're just shoved up there so that bit's done i feel really good about that because i've just been really ruthless if i haven't looked at it since the last time i tidied it out it's gone so now okay something like this i have never ever worn it it's not my style it's got to go. These I have worn to death. I really love this top. And it looks... I used to wear it all the time. But I haven't worn it for ages. So I think it's got to go. And this, again, it was really nice. I wore it a few times uh, with white jeans. And I really like that look. But I just don't know. I haven't worn them for ages. And I've probably worn them to death when I have worn them. So they've probably got to go. I've got a lot of pairs of jeans that just don't fit or look good or have just been worn too much and I never throw them away. Guess what today is? Time to throw them away. <laughs> My kind of go-to look is a skirt and a shirt or a skirt and a jumper like this or a skirt and a t-shirt so I have absolutely tons of these kind of skirts and I used to wear this one to work but I swear it must have shrunk because it's absolutely minute. So that's got to go. But I do really like a good shirt and a skirt combo with a pair of boots. Uh, if you've seen my Jules boots, they go well with so many things. So I've been wearing that a lot recently. But it just means I've got so many skirts and I just don't need them all. Again with jeans. I've bought these in America. 26 inch waist. I don't think I'll fit in that anymore. But I just never ever wear them. Even if they did fit. I don't know. I just didn't really like them. I got bought, sold into buying them. I also went through a stage of wearing shorts with tights and boots like years ago um, or shorts like this high-waisted pair which I really liked. I wore this to a festival, Reading Festival with Ju. I think we had Henry and it was one of our first like weekends away but um, yeah they've got to go. So I obviously don't work in an office anymore but I've got tons of really nice office wear. So I think what I'm going to do is probably put it in the loft, just in case, just in case I need it. But maybe I should give myself a time limit and throw it if I don't use it in a certain amount of time. Now, from the state of this hanger, I would say I had a little, a little bit too much on that one. Leggings. I don't even wear leggings. I to have a slight obsession with little tops. I've got, um, I don't know maybe 15 of them. I'm not sure there's a need for that many tops. The hard thing is doing it this time of year, obviously it's the change of season, so I'm thinking, I don't want that because it's summery and actually it's about to get warmer. So it's really difficult to do it that way around, but I have managed to get through a reasonable amount, I think. So I've got all my blazers here, and then I've got a couple of dresses here, and a couple of different skirts here. And then a quite considerable collection of wet look trousers and leather trousers, some white jeans, and then I've min minimalised my jean collection 
down to one, two, three, four, five, five blue pairs, which was about 15 beforehand. So I've done all right there. A few skirts, got another few dresses. Those tops I'm going to leave for now just because I don't know, obviously it's coming to summer, so I'm going to leave them and then when it gets warmer, I'm going to look through them. And then I've just got some shirts and then some more casual tops. And then what I love about doing stuff like this is that I've got all this like expensive lingerie that I just have like shoved to the back. But now they're all on their nice hangers and same with the bags, you know, they're expensive. So you want to kind of give them that respect that they're expensive things. So they're all on their nice hangers and they've all got their own space. So I do realise that that doesn't look like a minimalist wardrobe, but this is the Minimalism for Hoarders series, and that is me. So for me, I feel really good about that. I've got two huge bin bags out there, and then I've just got this as well. So, I mean, oh, you can't quite see the, how big they are, but three big piles there, and then some more bits there. Obviously, all those hangers are from stuff that I are in these piles now and won't be hanging up. And then these bits here, I'm just going to put into the loft because they are like expensive dresses and stuff for work. So I'm kind of running out of daylight hours now. So I think I'm going to leave this hideous, this hideous mess until another day. So probably do it tomorrow. Um, but I've really felt good about this. I have thrown so much away. Let me show you how much I've thrown away. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six bags, four of which are bin bags full of stuff for charity so there we have it i hope you enjoyed that as much as i did it was so therapeutic to get rid of so much stuff please do subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of videos because i've got a whole lot more to do thanks for watching